tense and it's building all around. You can feel it in the air. It's more than a fight. All right, we're live. All right, here we go. Game two of the day, this time from the second ice rink here in Dallas, Texas. It's Team Arizona, the Copper team, playing against Team California in game two of the day for Team AZ. However, it's game one of the day for Copper team. The black team lost 3-2 to two earlier this morning to Team Midwest. Now, Team Arizona takes on Team California. Team AZ in the maroon red, California in the orange. And we're off here from Dallas, Texas. California whips it into the zone. It goes right back out to the blue line, kept in by Nolan Aga. Number three, the defenseman on California. Here comes Team AZ the other way. McCaughey over the line, all the way across, looking for Ryan Jim. He takes it in the corner and takes hit in the process. Jim, Gramlich, and McCaughey, the top line for Team AZ on this copper team. Jim. Gramlich looking for McCaw. He goes all the way across. Big slap shot got flubbed. And a good save from the netminder of California, Tyler Harmon. In net for Team AZ as it goes all the way down. It'll be an icing. It's going to be Logan Gibbs, the goalie from Centennial High School. And the AZ Bobcats Tier 2 16 U team, the junior, sitting at six foot tall. So Harmon against Gibbs is our goaltending matchup as McCaughey, Jim, and Gramlich got the game started for Team AZ on the forward set. It'll be Kane, Quinar, and Flynn now. As Kane's gonna chase it into the corner. Picked off by Colin Casey, and California exits the zone. Comes all the way across for Scott. He backhands it out to neutral. Quinar touched it, which forces the offside. Team Copper got a little bit of a later start today. I'm sure Team Black was a little bit jealous. They didn't have the 8 a.m. start like they did. This is their first game of the day. They'll also play later today at 5.45 local time, which is 3.45 Arizona time. This one played by a hand pass or played by a high stick as Flynn got in there as it entered the offensive zone which draws another whistle. Team Black is playing in just about an hour at the Plano rink. We mentioned it earlier, it's our only game this weekend that we won't be streaming because, well, we're here and we can't stream two games at once. Sadly, we're not up to those techno technological capabilities just yet. Soon enough, we will be. Jack Welch from Hamilton High School trying to move the puck to step in. Welch will come back all the way back in his own end. Looking for Ethan Niles. They force it out to neutral. In the Bob Ganey rink here in Dallas. Welch's shot got deflected high over the net. Harmon looked for it with his glove. Jackson McCutcheon lays a hit in the corner. McCutcheon playing with his high school teammate. And Parker Stepien, who now tries to backhand it forward. Dufour tries the far side and gets it there. Picked up by Zach Burnett and out. Jeremy Adkins for California, waits and flips it into the open corner. No shots on net for California just yet. Logan Gibbs isn't complaining. However, through his high school days, Logan Gibbs has probably been better seeing more shots. He's had a lot of games where he's at 40, 45, even sometimes 50 saves. The game that comes to mind is last year against Notre Dame in the playoffs. Not this past year, but the year prior in the quarterfinals. Logan had upwards of 50 saves in a win. Here's a chance for Team AZ cutting in. It's Welch who stops. He tried to get a shot away and he couldn't. That was a nice move from Jack Welch. A little stop and go but couldn't get the shot away at the end of a long shift. Maffeo can't pick it up. Here comes California the other way. Ryan Lee enters the zone and flips it around. Three minutes into a scoreless first period. Here from Dallas, Texas, first game of the weekend for Team AZ Copper. Kept in the blue line by Wintershot. Back behind their own net is Team Arizona. And out they come. 
Long breakaway pass. Here's a chance on the break. Shot save by Harmon. That was Cal Butler right off the bench. His first shift got a breakaway. Butler couldn't put it home as Harmon makes the save with his right pad. Harmon will play it. 5'10", 145, a goaltender. There's a rising senior. Team California is a team made up of truly, it is not Team LA, it's not Team San Diego, it's not Team Sacramento, it's Team California. You have a lot of these kids from Northern, from Southern California, San Diego, Huntington Beach, San Jose, Santa Ana, Los Gatos up in Northern California and some in San Diego as well. So truly a full state team. We'll see how they can play together. That's the question when it comes to showcases like this. How do they play together as a team? Entering the zone is Team AZ. It's Gramlich. Nice move. Reed Gramlich into the circle. Try to put it through his legs. He hit his own skate. And Scott takes it away for Team California. Here they come the other way. It's Monarch entering the zone on the back door. Didn't reach Gibbs and cleared all the way down. Buck is bouncing and icing waved off. Casey, four check from Gramlich. Mentioned it earlier, Gramlich, Jim, and McCaughey, the forward set on the first line for this Team AZ Copper team. They not only play together here, they also play together on their travel team, the AZ Bobcats. And what can you say? It's basically like an all-star team when you talk about this first line. Three of your top five, top ten, depends on who you ask in Arizona high school hockey. Two four behind his own net, pressured by Chase Kane. Kane, the state champion this year, along with Gibbs and Ethan Niles and Ryan McCaughey and Andrew Switchenberg from Centennial. Team Copper doing a good job exiting their zone quickly. Backhand try into the glove of Harmon off the stick of Kane. Quickly, five shots already on net from Team Arizona. California with just one, a soft shot that reach gives his pad. So far, so good for a team in their first game looking for their first win. Off the draw, it's Kane turning with it. That's Quinar in the corner as well, and he gets it taken off his stick. Flynn does a good job in neutral lights to take it right back and get it in deep. Kim for California gets it to Adkins, his D partner. Flynn lays a big hit along the half wall and keeps the puck in as a result. Walking and shooting, it goes high. Off the stick that looks like Niles, yes it is. He gets it down to Rahela. Flynn puts it in front, shot save from Harmon. Right off the bench, Jack Welch doing some more things offensively. Shot from the blue line is flopped. Quinar in the slot, taken down, gets back up, and the shot goes wide. Flynn now circling the zone. He gets taken to the wall from Atkins. Quinar picks it up. Quinar looking to cut in front, looking for Welch back door. He waits, he shoots, he put it wide from a sharp angle. A long offensive zone shift from this heavy, big line that Team AZ Copper has to offer. Stepien looking to feed it in front as coming down from the blue line was Rihella. Welch keeps it in. A long shift for these Team California defenders. They've been out there for over a minute. McCutcheon keeping it in. Team Copper getting a full change within this offensive zone shift. McCutcheon for Welch down low. Is Stepien in front. He'll try the far side. Atkins gets there first. He'll backhand it across, and finally, Team California gets a change. Good play by Rahela, gets it right back up. Here comes McCutcheon into the zone. California got a quick change, but not a full change. Voorhees is looking to exit the zone. He cannot pressure from Welch. All four lines rolling here for Team Copper. Hernandez picks it up, and California will exit. He'll wrist it in, going to the far side. Is Voorhees, now puts it back behind the net. Turning on a dime is Hernandez. He'll try the far side for Voorhees. Those two playing pitch and catch in the zone, taken away from Team Copper. 
And here they come. Penalty upcoming, this one against California. As they're going to get a slash against California that looks like number 12, Zach Burnett, will be heading to the box. And yes, he will. A slashing call against California. Team AZ Copper to the power play for the first time today. If you talk about skill, you talk about talent, you talk about putting the puck in the back of the net, not only is this first line, or really every line on this team, AZ Copper team, capable of doing that, let's see what they can do with a man advantage. Back up to the top, shot blocked down, rebound, try to the back, can he put it wide? Oh, Gramlich put it through the blue paint. Jim looking for Gramlich in the circle, it's deflected to the corner. Englerth is the quarterback on the top of this power play. That's McCaw, he takes it away. McCaw, to Englerth at the top. Right back to McCaw, down low for Stepien. McCaw, he shoots, saved by Harmon. Just got a piece of the glove on it. Stepien back to Englerth at the top. 40 seconds gone in the power play. Gramlich, Englerth all the way across. Jim will circle with it in the circle. Back to Englerth at the top. He's got room if he wants it. Takes it, shoots it wide. Rebound off the side of the net. And he put it wide. That was Stepien at the side. Gramlich takes away off a hit. Gramlich shot save from Harmon. Kicks out the left leg. McCaughey behind the net. Another long offensive zone shift for Team Arizona. Now Switchingberg is the quarterback on the power play. He switches with Englerth. All four forwards say on Jim, Gramlich, McCaughey, and Stepien. A minute and 20 of offensive zone time. Switchenberg at the top. Toss it toward the net. Rebound try. Still loose in the blue paint. It's in the back of the net. No goal is the call. The referee's whistle blew down the play before the puck went into the back of the net. We'll see if we can get another look at that. It was right in the blue paint on the pad of Harmon. They say that he had control of it, and he did. But what an offensive zone shift from that power play unit. Gramlich, Jim, step in. And McCaughey with Englerth and Switchenberg. 33 seconds to go in terms of the man advantage. Shot toward the net, blocked down off the stick of Kane. A long pass the other way, picked off. And right back into the offensive zone goes Team Arizona. Niles looking to enter the zone. Back out to the blue. Niles gets it back, puts it toward the net, put off the side of the net. The cage was rattling. Kane down low for Cal Butler. Back up at the top, pass across, picked off, and they're going to have to chase. Picking up California, looking to cut toward the net, but the puck came off his stick. That was Reese Monarch on the potential breakaway for Team California. 13-2, Team Arizona in front in terms of shots. This one goes over the blocker of Gibbs. He hasn't seen action in a while. Nor has the defensive zone, nor has the neutral zone. It's been full domination so far here in the first period from Team Arizona. Put it into an open corner. Welch can't exit the zone. Niles has to go chase in the corner. At the half wall, Team California takes a spill. As Winter shot went down, shot from the blue line, gives with the pad save. Arizona the other way, Welch with a lot of speed. Welch will backhand it in. Take a hit from Adkins in the process. Flynn in the circle. Flynn back out to the blue. Big slap shot, goes wide of the short side. Flynn can't get it. Back out to the blue, tip in front. Still loose, Quinar at the side of the net. In front for Stepien. And Welch at the side as well. This is that heavy line. Flynn, Welch, and Quinar. Doing some heavy work along the boards. Welch at the bottom of the circle. Gets it down to Quinar. Back out to the blue. Stepping up is Rahella. All the way across for Engler. His shot goes wide. Got deflected on the way. And cleared all the way down. From Matsuda. Icing waved off. 3.13 to go in period number one. A period dominated. From Team Arizona, everything but the goal as California's shot was deflected high and over the net. That was a dangerous chance as Gibbs didn't know where that went. It went over him and over the net, thank goodness, for his sake. 
Dufour comes back with it. The defenseman switches the side of the ice. Gets it right back at the red and looks to skate it in. He does on the inside. Gets taken down by a hit. And Gibbs lets it up. It goes over the shoulder of Gibbs and into the back of the net. Team California strikes first. They lead 1-0 with 2.40 to go in the first period. Only the fourth shot of the period for Team California, but they make it count. Alan Kim is going to get credit for it. Kim gets the goal with 2.40 to go in period number one. Kim for California, they take the lead with 2.35 to go as play continues. That's the game of hockey. You get every chance, you can't bury it. And their goaltender Harmon has played very well. California strikes once, they strike well. Wide after cutting into the zone was Monarch. It goes along the far wall. Team AZ flips it out. Wintershy turns it over in the neutral zone. Off the official's leg in the offensive zone for McCutcheon. McCutcheon gets laid out. Now Pudakov lays a hit as well. Kim picks it up and flips it out. Right back in goes Team AZ. Off the rush. Shot goes by the short side. Rebound chance. Backhand try. As cutting in was McCutcheon. That was a slick play from Jackson McCutcheon, took it off the backboards, spun and put a backhand try in on Harmon, who makes his 15th save of the period. Offensive zone draw, you saw how quick. Back in, Team Hopper went. The speed. There's a notable difference. Call, he picks it up in neutral ice. And Team California will come the other way. Catching up to it. The big hit. And it's up at one with 109 to go in the first period. That is Gramlich's patented backhand move on the breakaway, and he gets it to go past Harmon with 69 seconds to go in the first period. Reed Gramlich ties us up. He had a few defenders on his back, but just had the right angle to get the backhand try over Harmon's pad, and ties us up late in the first period. 16-4. Team Arizona leading in shots. Now looking for an looking for Gramlich. Tried the no-look pass over to Jim. Team California sick in the way, or else they were seeing a one-timer from Jim and on Harmon that well, I don't know if he'd even see with the slick shot of Ryan Jim. Gramlich takes it high in the offensive zone. It goes off of a leg, and chasing after it is Shane Irelson. Irelson of Hamilton High School. You have him, Putakov, Welch. Three Hamilton players all the way in. Now Jim looking for Gramlich. Try to go to the backhand. That was McCaughey cutting in front. Couldn't control as the sick of the goaltender as well got in the way. Now a shot taken from Quinar went wide. Going to chase with 13 seconds is Milstein. And we'll get an icing, which means Team Arizona will have one more chance to set things up in the offensive zone before the period comes to an end. 15 minute, three, 15 minute periods, three periods of course, with only a one minute intermission. So don't go anywhere when the period concludes. Maffeo on the draw. Backhanded out of harm's way from Team California. Chase after it is Engler. And that of period number one. One won the score after one period. 
One goal from each side, of course. And it started with Team California, where it was only their fourth shot of the game, but they got it to go. Alan Kim made it 1-0 on a, a three-on-two rush, went high shoulder on the glove side of Logan Gibbs, and then Reed Gramlich tied us up at one on a backhanded breakaway chance for Gramlich. 1-1 the score after one. We'll be right back for period number two, right here on the Ashi YouTube page. Back here for period number two from Dallas, Texas. 1-1 the score between Team Arizona and Team California. It's the period of the long change as both teams switch sides. Team AZ will now go to the far end. Here from an interesting broadcast setup as well. Back behind the near side, which is right where Logan Gibbs stands for Team Arizona. He went three for four on saves. Didn't see a ton of action, but the one shot from Alan Kim Got past his shoulder. We're going to have a penalty upcoming as the official raises his arm after some pushing and shoving. After heading to the box will be Cal Butler, it looks like. Yes, Butler will head to the box. The penalty boxes are very similar to the bench area. And as I said, I don't have the greatest view here from the Bob Ganey rink here in Dallas. So Butler to the box, first time to the power play for Team California. We'll see how they can do. In the corner is McCutcheon on the PK for Team AZ along with Switchenberg, Irelson, and Stepien. So the two Basha forwards on the PK along with Switchenberg and Irelson on D. Team California gets it set up. All the way back out to the blue. Now they go down to the half wall. Winterscheid at the blue. Puts it down low. Looking to go all the way across. Kept in at the top by Aga. He gets it right back. Aga shoots. Blocked down in front. Step in putting pressure at the top. 50 seconds gone in the power play. No shots in on net. This is number one, and they score. Rebound chance. Monarch puts it in the back of the net. Reese Monarch, 2-1, Team California on a power play goal. We'll see another the initial save, but Monarch comes nobody even close to him in terms of defenders. He puts home the rebound, and Team California takes a 2-1 lead. Just 120 into period number two. Monarch, the senior, out of Alicio Viejo, California. So he gets the first goal. The second period, second goal for California, who actually in the process of scoring, took a penalty, and it looked like it was for unsportsmanlike conduct. After the goal, the officials handed out the penalty, and they gave it to Monarch. It looked like some sort of celebration penalty, maybe something he said. But the officials are all on it right after the goal, and now Team AZ will go to the power play. 
with a great chance to respond on the backhand try. Cutting in front was Gramlich. Couldn't put it home. Back up to the top, it's Anglerth. All the way across, Jim lets it fly. Save from Harmon, and he covers with the glove. So undisciplined from California. As you see Jim on that far side letting it rip. And Harmon gathering it up. Arizona a great chance to come right back to tie this game. Oh, for one on the power play. Now one for two. Shot from the blue line goes in. Switchenberg had the shot. Harmon was screened in front. Just 28 seconds after California goes up 2-1. Switchenberg ties this up at two. What a shot from the blue line for the senior from Centennial. Switchenberg let it fly and went glove side on Harmon. 2-2 with a power play goal for Andrew Switchenberg. We mentioned it earlier, an undisciplined penalty from California on the celebration of the goal. Nothing to do with what happened in play. And, they, and Team Arizona makes them pay for that penalty on the power play. 22-6, Team Arizona in front in terms of shots. 2-2 on the scoreboard. It comes in front in the slot. McCaughey making some moves. McCaughey to the net. Still loose. It comes out to the slot. And California dodges a major bullet. They turn it over. Jim backdoor. McCaughey couldn't put it home. And it takes his fill in the process. One too many moves from Ryan McCaughey in that slot position. Gramlich in front looking for McCaughey, still loose. Taken off the puck as he was surrounded by three orange sweaters. Kept in from Mahela. Mahela keeps it in. Gramlich looking forward in the far corner. California will just ice the puck all the way down, but Gibbs plays it. Would have been icing. Gibbs plays it. Team AZ has numbers the other way. Kane, drop pass, shot, got blocked down as Flynn took it from the circle. Here's Flynn, Quinar, and Kane. Down low is Dufour. Back up top, looking for Quinar in the slot, taking off his stick. Caught up in neutral. California still with it. A quick two-on-one, but offside the call. Without that call, and it was close at the blue line. Would have been a two-on-one for Team California. Very early here in the second period, and just three and a half in. But a goal for each side. Reese Monarch, the goal for California. Even strength, or checked out power play goal. And then it was Switchenberg for Team Arizona on the power play. Very similar to the first game we did today. It was Team AZ Black against Team Midwest. And 1-1 one, one after 1, both even strength goals. 2-2 two, two after 2, two power play goals. Same thing here. First two goals for each team, even strength. And then a power play goal from each side. It leaves us at 2-2. Two, to two. Milstein back on D. Tip in front. Gibbs makes a nice save on a deflection in front from Reagan. It was at the side of the net all alone. It'll be an off the zone draw. California works with Orange right at the Anaheim few of these kids from the Anaheim area as Welch picks up the puck quickly in the offensive zone backhand pass looking for step in on the far side Angler picks it up whip there on the far wall is Milstein he keeps it in backhanded even further by Welch step in down low front as the Locked. Is blocked this time from Milstein. 
as Voorhees was cutting down the wall. to the score, five minutes here into the second period. And this will get blown down for all side. But it will force another face off. It's been in terms of shots, a very dominant game. Because they've had long offensive zone shifts. Their four check has been very strong. They've had shifts of over a minute, a minute 10, even a minute 30. Or well, they spent the entire time in the offensive zone. There's Puck picked up by Stepien. He's all alone. Stepien just put it wide to the far side. Mark Stepien picking up that loose puck and just cutting right into the zone over the line. Just missed the far post past Harmon. Seeing every one of these forwards on Team Maisie so far make some sort of impact. It's a very strong forward group. Almost put any any one of these guys together. Lock. Ironton knocks it out. It comes right back in. And a nice play from Switchenberg to take it off the stick. Now he takes a hit in the corner. And we're going to get a penalty. Interference is the call. And we'll see who they're going to put it against. Uh, they're pointing toward McCutcheon. And I think he's the one that's going to head to the box. The power play for Team California, their second of the day. McCutcheon to the box, interference, the call against the sophomore, the rising junior, I should say. He's currently a sophomore, which is crazy to think about. Two more years in Asha, two more years in tournaments like this, and travel hockey with the Arizona Bobcats, currently playing 2-2 two two at 16U. He's going to be a really good player for years to come. McCutcheon's in the box, a quick clear from Team AZ. McCutcheon did play PK in the first opportunity where Team Arizona gave up a power play goal. That was to reach Monarch at the side of the net. Six minutes gone in period number two. Rahella will whip it all the way down. And for an offensive zone chance, is Kudakov as he cut toward the net, but he put it high. Taking a chance was Niles as he cut in. Fanned on the shot, given right back, and Maffeo will clear it to neutral. Rahela picks up the loose puck, looking for the breakaway pass. Pukov had a track all the way toward the net, but couldn't control. Good pressure from Adkins of California to take it away from him. One minute gone in the California power play. Niles backhands it off the glass and all the way down. Two goals on seven shots for Team California and two goals on 22 shots in Team Arizona. Bishow will center it. Knocked into the zone by Reagan, taken right back from Rahela. He'll flip it all the way down. He'll tell Kyle Quinar to go and chase it. And he does, four checking in the offensive zone on the PK. 15 ticks left in the PK. As Milstein steps up and clears it down. Very strong penalty kill from Team, Co Team AZ Copper here. Halfway through this one, we hit the 7.30 mark. Picking up a Switchenberg. Switchenberg moves in, he shoots, it went wide. He was looking for number two. California the other way, a quick two on one. Milstein the only D back, shut, blocker save from Gibbs. He reached up the right arm and got a piece. Butler across for Jim. Back in front, they score! Ryan Jim, 3-2 Team Arizona on a six shot high glove on Harmon. He played give and go with Butler and he got it right back in the slot. Jim waits, he shoots, he's got one of the strongest shots you're gonna see. And Ryan Jim puts him in the back of the net. 
First time today that Team AZ Copper has had a lead. Up 3-2, now here in the second. Jim gets the goal, assist from Butler. See if they give it a second assist. It comes right back in front. McCaughey put it and put it home. Penalty upcoming. Let's see who they have collared. Remember, McCutcheon just went to the box for interference. This call is an elbowing. Let's see who they take. It seems to be against Team California as the official escorts the California player to the box. Now we're just looking for who it might be. So power play for Team AZ. Heading to the box is Colin Casey for Team California. He's in the box for two minutes for elbowing, and it's a power play for Team Arizona. He's one for two on the day on the man advantage. Not only been scoring goals and getting a lot of shots, but drawing a lot of penalties as well. Gramlich almost lost it. He protects the puck in neutral, and we'll start it up once more. Gramlich across the line. Pass it to himself off the wall and will circle the zone. Drop pass, looking for McCaughey. They couldn't get it set up, and California backhands it down. Switchenberg back behind his own net. Gramlich into the zone. Goes all the way across for Ryan Jim. Jim just had the go-ahead goal. Down low for Stepien, back to Jim. Switchenberg's at the top, he has one today. Jim walks in, still has it, he shoots, he just put it wide. Trying to go far post on Harmon, the netminder. Stepien back behind the net, six minutes to go in the second period. Switchenberg across for Graham, like he shoots from a sharp angle and put it wide. One minute to go in the power play. Jim, down low for Stepien. Back to Jim at the half wall. At the top, Switchenberg shoots along the ice, it went wide. Jim gets it back, beats his D-man at the top. The sniper, Jim, turns within the corner. Still has it on his stick. McCaughey now picks it up. McCaughey tells toward the net, looking to hit Graham, like had to take it on his backhand. 30 seconds to go in the power play. No shots in a while, McCaughey does, and Harmon makes the save with the pad and clear down from California. Top unit gets everything but a goal. They've had chance on chance and offensive zone time. It's not been a problem. Jim will tip it in. Quinar will get in on the four check. KC will come out of the penalty box now. A successful PK from Team California. First one to the puck, the Michigan try from Monarch. Tried to lift it and put it over the shoulder of Gibbs. He couldn't finish the job. Now that is showing out here in the Lone Star Showcase. For Reese Monarch, he already has one today. He was looking for a second, but this time in a different way as Gibbs makes the save on a nice rebound chance as it came out to Matsuda at the side of the net. Irelson back for Team Arizona. Over to D-Man and Niles. Gets it ahead for Cooper Flynn. It got tipped in, icing waved off. Kane on the four check. Penalty upcoming, it's gonna go against California as Welch was taken down. It's a roughing call. He was taken down along the half wall and it's another penalty against California. Not only have they been pretty much dominated at five on five, but this is now their fourth penalty of the day. It's gonna be Voorhees, Trin Voorhees to the box and the fourth man advantage for Team Arizona. They're one for three on the power play today. That power play goal coming from Andrew Switchenberg. We've seen Switchenberg, we've seen Engler at the top. Niles and Irelson along with Welch. Fail and Kane. Welch circles the zone. He's the one who got hit in the half wall. That drew the roughing call all the way across. Looking for Niles. He shoots safe. Rebound chance right in front. Still loose in the slot. Turnaround try from Kane and he put it wide. Welch will take it along the half wall. 40 seconds gone. Back up top, Irelson. 
Now at the half wall, puts it in front, off the pad, still loose. Kane fighting for it. A big body, almost 200 pounds in front. Slap, hit, slap shot try went high and wide from Maffeo as he was wide open in the slide. Good use of the power play from that unit. You see Maffeo high in that slot from the bumper, takes it out above the circles, and his slap shot goes over the netting. It's back to that top unit for Team AZ Copper. McCall, he wins the draw back to Switzenberg. Jim across, Gramlich shoots, it went wide to the short side. Gramlich McCall, he shoots his say, shot, goes in the back of the net. Ryan McCall, he on the power play, Team Arizona up four to two. If, they, if you give them enough chances, they're going to make you pay. And Ryan McConkey does just that from the slot. A two-goal lead for Team AZ. Second power play goal of the day for Team Arizona. They're now two for four. That's a very similar goal to McConkey in terms of what he scored to win the state championship this year for Centennial in that overtime thriller against Notre Dame wide open in that bumper position and he just lets it fly short side against Harmon today he let it fly against Matthew Gann of Notre Dame on that day in February another give and go play and Jim shot deflected up and out of play McCaw he had the championship overtime winner McCaw he gets goal number four today into the corner. Off of McCaughey's stick. Right back to that first unit. Gramlich, Jim, and McCaughey. 2.30 to go in period number two. Jim tried to throw it toward the net. McCaughey's on the puck behind it. Goes back out to the top for Hella. Backhands it forward. McCaughey lays out his man along the half wall. Hella does a good job of keeping it in for the moment. California will clear it out. They have numbers the other way. Good play from Switchenberg. He took the puck off the stick and then took the man. McCaughey, Jim, Gramlich with speed right down center ice. And Harmon's going to cover on the loose puck. Under two minutes to go here in period number two. Shots in favor of Team Arizona, 32 to nine. This was the most recent one as Gramlich was cutting toward the net. Chase it all the way back. Milstein right on his man, and a nice defensive play from Cal Butler. He went all the way back, taking the center position, and took middle ice right away from California. They pick up the pass, and now they come the other way. Maffeo into the zone on the forehand, trying to put it all the way across. Taking away California the other way. Under 90 seconds to go now in period number two. Penalty upcoming. This one is against Team Arizona. Cal Butler laid out his man. That's Ryan Lee down at the half wall. Butler went to the box earlier in this game. He is the one who took the first penalty. That was for interference. This one will not be. Looks like a roughing call, and I believe that's what they're going to call. It's just a matter of how long. Lee is slow to get up. He's still on one knee. And now the trainer comes out for Team California. David Walker is the assistant coach. David Guy, the head coach. Austin Mater, the manager. 117 to go in period number two. 4 2, Team Arizona in front, but they'll be going to the penalty kill. Lee 
getting checked out by the manager and the assistant coach along with the first aid here on site in Dallas. The hit was behind the play as the puck went from the half wall down low to the near corner. Had a big bang and a crash and Butler standing over Lee. He's up, he's talking with the trainer and the manager. Feo, Engler, Milstein, and Pudikov is the PK unit for Team Arizona. Did not see if there was any sort of head contact, but it has to be the questions that they're asking right now. They're gonna send Lee right back to the bench. And he seems to be skating well. As he takes a couple strides and heads over to where the rest of his teammates stand. Big opportunity here for Team California with 1.17 to go in period number two. They will be going to the power play for the third time tonight. They're one for two on the day. The manager heads over to the bench. She's gonna check over on Ryan Lee. Do a couple tests, make sure he's all right before they clear him to head back in to the game. Hernandez for California, lose the draw. Voorhees lost his stick. And now Maffeo comes the other way for Arizona. On the PK, Maffeo taking off the puck. California playing with a little bit more pace now. Voorhees turned it over. Maffeo turns with it in neutral, right back to Engler, and he'll clear it all the way down. Under a minute to go. Now in period number two, 4 2, Arizona in front. Two power play goals, two at even strength. And neutral California will whip it all the way in behind Gibbs. It's only seen nine shots today. It's really been a very good defensive performance from Team Arizona. Picking up Colin Casey. He'll enter the zone in the backhand with under 30 seconds now. Looking for a give and go. Gets it back. Looking to feed the slot. And right there was McCutcheon. McCutcheon laying hits along the wall along with Milstein. It's a two-on-two -two battle in that half wall corner on the far side. Back up at the blue. Stepping, shooting, and a nice glove save from Gibbs. Engler with a nice job to uh, box out Burnett, who is the forward looking to screen Gibbs in front. But the big Brady Engler basketball player in a free throw, boxing out his man and allowing Gibbs to see the puck the entire way. 9.3 seconds to go until the end of the second period. Remember, just a one minute intermission, so don't go anywhere once the period is over. Quinar wins the defensive zone draw. Team AZ goes along the wall, kept in just at the blue line. One more chance on the backhand, stopped by Engler, and Larson lays out Engler after the period. Quinar had a problem with that. And the official's gonna talk to Larson for a bit. No penalties called, but the end of the second period. 4-2, Team Arizona in front. Team California will have 42 seconds of power play time at the start of period number three. We'll be right back.
All right, back here for period number three, and we switch sides one more time. Team Arizona will now be coming toward this end, which is the near end here in Dallas, Texas, in the Bob Ganey rink. This will be the only game of upwards of nine, possibly 10 or 11, depending on wins and losses. And of course, live stream capabilities that we'll be able to stream. Through two, Team Arizona up four to two. They will be on the PK for the next 42 seconds on the penalty against Cal Butler. He was issued a roughing call with just over a minute to go in period number three on a hit along the half wall. McCutcheon doing good work for Team Arizona. Killing some time here back behind the net. Jackson McCutcheon. Basha Perry Bearcat. His teammates earlier today, Brody Payne, Nick Wolf having a great game. Wolf with a goal, also got an assist. As it's cleared all the way down, I know Coach Aaron Burden was very happy about that. And how good of a score is Nick Wolf? Adkins almost loses the puck as it came right back in front. McCutcheon with great work on the forecheck to kill time. Butler is out of the box, and we're back to even strength. On the wall, looking to center it, is California. Down two. They scored the first goal today. They took a 2-1 lead. They haven't had the lead since. Gibbs with a save. Rebound chance in front. At the side of the net, tangling up. It looked like Burnett. And still down is McCaughey along with Larson as they continue to jostle for position. The two 17s going together. Those are two big, big boy 17s. 6'3", 190, Owen Larson. And 6'1", 168, Ryan McCaughey. Ryan McCaughey looks seven feet on skates. Ryan Jim circles in the zone. Him, Gramlick, and McCaughey right back out there. For one more, might be the dagger. Gramlick all the way across. Irelson couldn't control. He plays it down low. McCaughey gets hit and cleared all the way down. Switchenberg just waiting for it, and now they come right back in, not allowing California to change all the way across. Gramlich picks it up along the wall, cuts in front, sharp angle try, save, rebound try. Harmon will cover. Gramlich with so much speed, he starts at that wall, as you see along the far side on the right side of your screen, and just darts toward the net. Didn't have much of an angle, and Harmon did a good job of holding that post. Team AZ now up 20 in terms of the shot category, 33 to 13. In a game that they'd argue that they should probably be up more. Tyler Harmon for California has been nothing but good. And even better than that today. Irelson takes a spill. But right there is Kane to make up for him. And then Arizona gets the puck right back. Into the offensive zone, here comes Team Copper. Stepping into the corner, takes a hit. As Welch with him, looking to feed in front, looking for Kane, couldn't get the shot away. Welch feeds the blue line, down to Stepien at the half wall, back in front, Welch couldn't get the shot away as he was wide open in the slot. And then Lloyd collapsed on him, along with Aga. There's Welch one more time, all the way across. Kane was looking to find Stepien. Kept in at the blue line by Switchenberg, but then forced out to neutral. Switchenberg looking to go right back in. He turns it over to Lloyd. Lloyd gives it right back to Milstein. Welch will take it in his own end. Three minutes gone here in the third period. 4-2, Team Arizona in front. Team California almost got caught with too many men. If that puck hit the stick of the player coming off the bench, which was Owen Larson, would have been too many men. Finn feeds the slot. McCutcheon coming right off the bench. Along with Maffeo backhand try. Goes wide. Cooper Flynn one more time. Plays a big hit in the process. Another hit from Welch. Flynn back behind the net. The senior from Brophy. Trying to find Englerth at the top. Here's this Brophy teammate Milstein along with Flynn. Both together once again. Trying to knock the man off the puck. Now it's Colin Casey looking to bring it toward the net. Gibbs pads aside the shot. Here comes Arizona the other way. Maffeo with a nice try as he got it in deep. 
Harmon will hold. Even with a two-goal lead, there's no sit-back. There's no defensive-only minded mindset for Team Arizona. They're going right after it. They're looking for one more, which might be the dagger. And the winner, if it isn't already. Jacobs takes a hit along the half wall. Mafeo will chase it all the way back. He's the center on this line. Looking to feed Flynn, who is cutting down toward the middle. Anglerth got back to take away the breakaway pass as Reagan was looking to find a man all the way down deep. Anglerth puts it in front. Nobody home. Casey takes it away, makes a nice move, and breaks it out. Drew Reagan turns it over to Mafeo. Mafeo into the zone, backhand pass all the way across. Looking for Pudikov, who is cutting toward. Turned away. Jacobson for California. Into the corner, he'll backhand it all the way across. Five minutes gone here in the third. Rahello along the wall. Kept in at the top. That's all they'll get. Now comes the other way. It could have been a two-on-one, but Atkins did a good job positioning himself to take that pass away. Atkins behind his own net, pressured from Chase Kane. Taken down in the corner. Kane, another big body you don't want to mess with. Another Centennial Coyote you don't want to mess with. Talk about McCaughey and his size and strength. Chase Kane, not too far behind in terms of that category. At the side of the net, Team California looking to feed the front. As it was Hernandez back behind the goal line. Team Arizona comes back the other way and flipping it in is McCutcheon. Kane, the first one to the puck. It's bodied from two California forwards. Quinar in there as well. Coinar has been very physical all day in a good way, a very good way, as Gibbs makes easy pad save into the far side corner. 14th save for Gibbs on a simple one. They get the McCaughey line right back out there. 8.30 on the clock. Jim McCaughey is down low. And Switchenberg. Back up at the top. Jim couldn't pull the trigger. Taken away, and California comes the other way, possibly with numbers, but they have to stop and backhand it in. A bouncing puck costs them. Now a breakaway pass. Here's Gramlick. Backhand try. He put it wide. Off the side of the net went Gramlick. That move worked earlier in this one as he scored goal number one to make it 1 1 in the first period. It doesn't work there. Gramlick might have to try something else next time. Harmon's got him figured out, I guess. He's one for two. Gibbs might have got a piece with the blocker as the shot went wide. Coming up on the halfway mark here in the third. And comes back behind, chasing after it. Here's Winterscheid. He walks down the wall, gets it over to Monarch. He has one today on the power play. Here comes Team AZ the other way. Gramlich with speed. Gramlich one more time. Gramlich tries the backhand try. Harmon with the save. Gramlich got it right back. Gramlich feeds Jim. Caught up in his skates. Lays out his man in the process. Owen Larson the other way for California. Taken off the puck. Colin Casey can't catch up to this one. Now under seven minutes. You talk about averages, you talk about numbers. One for three. Or should, so much skill and so much firepower on this Team Arizona team that this top line is not a feast or famine line. The second, third, and fourth line have done more than that. It, they've done more. They've done everything they can. Everyone has made an impact, especially Jack Welch. Takes the puck away. Give right back, Larson toward the net. 
Still loose at the goal line. Gibbs dives back. He doesn't know where it is. It's at the side of the net. Still loose back behind. California looking to feed the front as Gibbs somehow kept that out. Going to have to get another look at that one. As it comes back the other way. Shot went high off the glass from Welch. At the next whistle, we're going to have to definitely look to see how Gibbs somehow kept that puck out. The California forward, Larson, was not happy as he went back to the bench. Looked at it as a missed opportunity. Quinar at the side of the net, back behind for Welch. Give and go with his heavy forward. Spinning with it. Keeping the puck. Welch tries the sharp angle try. Harmon got his shoulder in the way, and it went above the post. Engler steps up, stops the 2 on one rush. Arizona the other way, continuous play. Haven't had a whistle in a while, as that is where we stand. There's the jinx, and there's the whistle. Let's see another look at this. How did Gibbs keep this puck out? Is at the side of the net, he was looking for it. It happened a little bit earlier, and we're going to see if we can somehow get a look. What a play from Gibbs. He had to dive back behind, and as a goalie, of course, you have to be very careful because you don't want to accidentally kick it or, or, you know, punch it into your own net. When you make those moves, it goes in. Oh, what a surprise. Chase Kane right off the draw. Harmon wasn't ready, and Kane puts Arizona up 5-2 with five minutes to go in the third period. It was right off the draw. Harmon didn't even have a chance to get set, and Kane puts it in the back of the net. Maffeo won the draw. Kane comes in from the top. Puts it right through the legs of Harmon. And Team AZ now up three. A big goal at that. And they always say it's never a bad idea to throw the puck toward the net. And that's exactly what Chase Kane did. First goal of the third period goes to Chase Kane. He puts Team AZ up 5-2 with under five minutes to go here in the third. Team Black lost 3-2 earlier this morning to Team Midwest. And a, just a heartbreaker. It was a big hit from Merhella at the top of the slot. It was a heartbreaker, a, a go-ahead goal given up with two minutes to go in the third period. In a 2-2 game, made it 3-2. And then Minthorn along with Wolf. Tried to feed the front with about 15 seconds to go. Minthorn batted out of midair, but just wide of the far post. Flynn fighting for it. Surrounded by three California forwards. They take it away, and will come the other way. Bishow will backhand it in. So a 3-2 loss for Team Black. They're back in action right now. See if they can move to 1-1, one one, but in all... Regularities and all normalcies. Team AZ Copper is two teams that Team Arizona is sending to this Lone Star Showcase here in Dallas. Team AZ Copper will be moving to 1-1. One one. This play is offside. They'll be moving to 1-0, and oh, I should say, with another game tonight. Uh, 5.45 local time, 3.45 Arizona time. We'll have that game right back here on the Asha YouTube page for everybody to watch. It'll be over at the Plano rink, which is where we started today. We come over here for the second game, right back to the Plano rink tonight. And then four games tomorrow. Two games for both for each team, the black team and the copper team. We'll have all four games, and then each team will play one game on Sunday each. Will we have the chance to stream both? Well, that's a question for the schedule makers here at the Lone Star Showcase, if they're going to give us that capability, as in don't play both teams at the same time. But to each its own. We'll definitely have one of them. Harmon plays it and through the snow in front of his crease. There's been a lot of bodies. There's been a lot of skating in front of that net. There's this net that Team Arizona shot for the first period where they put up almost 20 shots. And now here in the third, as Harmon's going to head to the bench, it's a penalty upcoming against Team Arizona with 2.50 to go in period number three. Caught up in neutral, penalty upcoming. Let's see who they've gotten for Team Arizona. California to the power play for the fourth time tonight. They are one for three.
Larson will take the draw. As it looks like Welch in the box. I told you, it's a tough view here from the Bob Ganey rink, to say the least. It's a uh, standing view on some bleachers here in the corner on the near side goal. So we're doing our best. You know there's a Team Arizona player in the box. No matter who, that's the question. California on the power play, fourth time tonight. They are one for three. Shot taken, a rebound chance from Casey goes wide. As Gibbs had to go from his right to his left, still loose. Cleared to the blue line and now out. We're going to have a penalty, another one against Team Arizona. Harmon to the bench. Upcoming five on three. If you're California, you probably want Team Arizona to touch it. And that's exactly what they do. 2.14 to go. It was Welch, that is right. I was right. My, eye con my eyesight doing me good uh, as Welch is in the box. The first one, let's see who else they have. It's another penalty against Team AZ. This one is going against Brady Englerth. So Englerth to the box. A five on three penalty and California calls a timeout. So they're gonna go over some strategy. They're down three with a five on three opportunity. Now, you can play the game of, hey, should they pull the goalie? You're already up two men. How many more do you need, right? You already need three goals. So it's a matter of, hey, they got to score early here. They got to score one within the next 30, 45 seconds. Then you talk about pulling the goalie after you already have one power play expire. And then, you know, pull your chances and, and find a way for the third. It's going to be a tall task. A tough task, a tall task but they need three in the next 214, or else Team Arizona will come out victors. So Englerth and Welch are the two Arizona players in the box. A five on three power play for Team California. Hernandez, Casey, Larson. As we look down at the far end of the ice, three of the five forwards on this power play for California. Larson will take the draw. Harmon heads to the bench. Shot from the blue line. Gets saved from Gibbs. Clear down. Empty net for California. They have six men on the ice. Team Arizona has three. A three-man advantage. McCutcheon, or check that, McFeo couldn't slap it all the way down. Could be a missed opportunity. It's Gibbs, it goes wide of him. And Karam's all the way out. That is a shot you enter the zone. If a three-man advantage, and you take it, it goes high and wide and rims all the way out. A missed opportunity and one that Arizona will take every day of the week. Shot back door, and they score. Well, there's the goal they needed, and they get. On the six-on-three advantage, California goes back door, and it finds the back of the net. Nothing that Gibbs could do, as it looked like Lee, and yes, it was. That was Ryan Lee on the back door. He scores for California on the power play. Now it is back to five on four. And once California gets possession, Harmon to the bench. So five to three game now with 1.30 to go. Switchenberg back on the PK. That is a power play goal for Ryan Lee. As the shot goes wide, 1.15 now. California with possession, can't get a shot away. Arizona gets the clear to neutral. Back is Casey. Casey across to Matsuda. Casey will come in from the blue line, looking to tip it forward. Irelson couldn't flip it out. It goes over his stick and behind the net. Under a minute to go now, 50 seconds. On, and another penalty. This one is against California, it looks like. It goes from a six on four opportunity. California down two. Now they lose one. I mean, a ton of penalties in this game. And nothing that you can really argue. All of them fair calls for both sides. So penalty against California, which will draw the face off all the way back here into the offensive zone for Arizona. 
We'll see who they have in the box for California. We'll play four on four now. It is Larson. Larson is in the box for California. Four on four we play. 5-3 Arizona in front with 47 seconds to go. The officials talking with the California bench. Two minute call against Larson. As California carries the puck behind their own net. Kim looks to put it forward. Jacobs into the middle of the ice. They come all the way back. Loose puck, picked off. Shot from Kane, got blocked down. Into the final 25. Burnett puts it on net. Gibbs didn't even have to make a save. It got deflected off the stick of Irelson and to the corner. 15 seconds now. Angerler threw that of the box. A power play for Team Arizona for the rest of play. To decide who they want on the ice. And they do with five, with four. And five to three, a win for Team Arizona. Here in their first game, Team Copper wins their first one 5-3 to three. here in Dallas. A game with eight goals, a game with two goals in each of the first two periods. When you talk about the first half, first period, two goals, second period, four goals, three from Team Arizona. That is where the game changed. And it really changed. Monarch had the power play goal in the second, in the second period. It was at the side of the net. Nothing Gibbs could do. But, after, but as they scored the goal, Monarch took a penalty. And it was after the play. It was unsportsmanlike conduct was the call. That is where the game changed. Team Arizona comes right back on that power play. Switchenberg scores. Jim comes right back right after with a goal to make it 3-2. to two. McCaughey with a power play goal at the end of that second period to make it 4-2. to two. Third period, Kane for Team Arizona and Lee on the power play for California. Gramlich. Got the first goal for Team AZ. Alan Kim got the first goal for California. 5-3 final score. Team Arizona Copper wins their first game today. We'll see you back for our last stream of the day today. Only three streams today and four tomorrow. Our last game today will be at 5.45. Team AZ Copper will be playing right back here on the Asha YouTube page. 5.45 local, 3.45 back in Arizona. We'll see you then.